CCC family. It's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we're going to learn how to make some strawberry doilies or you might want to call them coasters or coffee cushions. Um, whatever you want to call them, that's what we're making today. They're cute little strawberries and they're in the form of a doily. These are pretty easy to make and they're lots of fun. So let's get into the materials. So for the materials today, we're going to be using a 5.5 millimeter hook. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need a darning needle for the end of your project, or you might call it a crochet needle. And you're going to need your colors of yarn that you want to make your strawberries. Obviously, I'm using red and green for the strawberries, but you can get colorful and make any kind of strawberries that you want. Now, I will be putting all the materials in the description box below, but just to go ahead and let you know, I'm using a Mainstays. That's right, Mainstays from Walmart. Not a bad yarn at all. I'm using it in red and green. And then for the um, cream colored or white portion, I'm using a Lion brand cotton yarn, but you can use regular white. And of course you can use any colors you want. You can use any hook that you want. Just remember that if you go bigger with a hook, you're gonna have a bigger project. If you go smaller with a hook, you're gonna have a smaller project and the same goes for the yarn. Okay, so one quick thing I wanna say is please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell below and press all so that you can get notified for all my videos. And when you give a thumbs up, it helps. And when you share, it helps so much. So if you get a chance and you like my video, please share it with your friends on a crochet group, on Facebook, on Instagram. And if you make them, please tag, make my projects, please tag them. Like I said, it helps so much. So let's get into the tutorial. Let's grab our cream colored yarn first, and we're going to make a magic circle. Now, if for any reason you don't know how to do any of the techniques or stitches that we're using in this video, please refer to my uh, beginner crochet video, and that's linked below in the description box, okay? So now that you've got your magic circle, you've already got this little chain right here. So what I want you to do is put 10 half double crochets into the middle of your circle. So there's one, two, three, nine, and 10. Okay, so we have our 10 half double crochets in the middle of our circle. So now we're gonna pull tight on our magic circle and we're going to slip stitch into our first half double crochet. So let's count and make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we're gonna be going into this first half double crochet right here and we're going to be putting a slip stitch, just like that. And now we're going to chain one, and then into that same place where you just slip stitched, you're going to put a half double crochet, just like that. And then you're going to put one more half double crochet in the same place. And then you're gonna do that in each stitch all the way around. So. Then we're gonna put two half double crochets in the next stitch. And two in the next. And you should have a count of 20 half double crochets when you're done with this row. Okay, so now we're gonna do our last two half double crochets in this last place stitch here. So now we have 20. And now we're gonna slip stitch right into our first half double crochet, not into the chain one right here into this first half double crochet, you're going to slip stitch. And then you're going to chain one again. And in this same space where you slip stitched, you're going to put one half double crochet. And in the next stitch, you're going to put two half double crochets, one and two. And in the next stitch, you're going to put one half double crochet. And in the next stitch, you're going to put two half double crochets. And you're just gonna keep repeating that pattern all the way around, one and then two. And then when you get done, you should have 30 half double crochets. 
Okay, so we're at our last stitch and right there we're gonna put two half double crochets. And then you're gonna slip stitch into your first stitch, not your chain one, but your first actual half double crochet. You're gonna slip stitch into there. And into that same stitch you're going to full first, you're going to chain one and that same stitch you're gonna put one half double crochet. And the next stitch you're going to put one half double crochet and the next you're going to put two half double crochets. And the next one half double crochet, and the next one half double crochet, and in the next two half double crochets. So you're gonna keep repeating that all the way around. And you should have a stitch count of 40 at the end of this row. Okay, so we have our 40 stitches and now we're going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet Remember, not the chain of one, but the first half double crochet, okay? And now we've got the circle that we need, and now we're gonna start working on our strawberries. So now we're gonna bring in our red yarn here in just a minute, okay? Okay, so before we bring in our red yarn, we're going to chain one again, and we're going to put a half double crochet right here in this space that you just slip stitched into. And then you're gonna go into your next stitch and you're gonna start a half double crochet, but you're not gonna close it you're gonna bring in your red yarn now, okay? And so then you're going to tie it off in the back just so it doesn't come undone. And then we're going to work in this red piece and we're also gonna work over our white because we need to bring it with us as we go, okay? So just hold the white and the red right over this right here. And then you're going to put five half double crochets into this next space. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay? But in this fifth one, we're actually not gonna finish it. We're going to just keep the half double crochet unfinished. You're gonna drop the red and then you're gonna bring up the white and finish that way, just like that. Then you're gonna be working over your red. So you're gonna go into your next available stitch and put one half double crochet in the white. Then you're gonna to go to do another half double crochet, but instead of finishing, you're gonna bring up your red now, okay? So we've gone and you can tighten your white up like this. And then you're gonna go into your next stitch and now you're working over the white and you're gonna put five half double crochets. One, two, three, four. And then when we go to do our fifth, we're not gonna finish it. We're gonna bring up the white again. So bring up your white, go through, and then you're going to put a half double crochet with the white into your next stitch and then you're gonna start one in the next. But then you're going to drop the white and you're gonna bring the red back in, just like that. And then you're gonna go into your next stitch and work five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and then start your fifth half double crochet with the white, drop the red, and bring up the white right through there just like that. Then you're working over the red, and you're gonna go into your next space, do a half double crochet, go into the next, start a half double crochet, but now you're gonna bring in your red. So bring in the red, and tighten up if you need to with the white, and then go into your next stitch and put five half double crochets with the red. One, two, three, four. And then when you go to make your fifth one, pull up like you're gonna do a half double crochet, drop your red, pull up your white, go into your next space, work a half double crochet, Go into the next space and work a half double crochet, but don't finish it and bring your red back up, 
and go through all of those and then start again. So you're just gonna do that all the way around. And then when we get close to the end, I'll meet you back up again. So we're on to our last um, strawberry, the red part of our strawberry. So we should be working on our 13th now. And it will start to look a little bit turned in, a little bit uh, roughly. That's okay, that's gonna look normal. And it will even out by the time that we're done. So don't worry about that, okay? But so I wanted you to see what it looks like as you're coming up to the end. So you have three stitches left and you need 13. So you know you need to do one more strawberry. So we're going to put um, our five half double crochets right here. One, two, three, four. And then our fifth one, we only do halfway. Okay, and then we bring in our white, just like that. And then we finish by doing our last two half double crochets. Okay, and then we're going to join right here into this first half double crochet that we did right there, okay? And so now we have 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut off our red and now we're gonna pull in our green. So we're gonna pull in our green just by pulling it right in to where we stopped there with the white and then you're just gonna tie it off in the back just like that. And you can work all these in as you go, all these scragglies right here. I would suggest working them in as you go so you don't have to work them in in the back. Um, but for the sake of the video, so it doesn't get all confusing, I'm not going to do it. But that is what I would suggest that you do, okay? And so, for some reason, this is not... Okay, so now what we're going to do, we have our green right here. And now we're going to go into this very next stitch right here. And we're going to bring up one... Um, one loop there just like that and you're going to pull up seven loops and you're going to go over this white so hold your white right along this edge right here okay because it's not going to pick it up till the end okay so it's not going to be secure until you get towards the end of pulling up your loop so we've got we've pulled up our second loop and we have one on our hook okay so that's technically two because of the one we have on our hook but it will be seven so then three four, five, six, and seven. And then you're gonna go through all of those loops just like that. Then you're gonna drop the green and you're gonna pull up the white and go through with the white. Then you're gonna go into your next available stitch right here, working over the green now, and you're gonna do a half double crochet. And now you've completed one strawberry. Okay, and so now you're into this right here. So you're going to go in like you're going to do a half double crochet and pull up, but now you're gonna pull up your green and go through like you're doing a half double crochet. Then pull down to tighten up. Now you've got one loop on your hook and you're gonna go into your next stitch right here and pull up one, two, three, but remember we have to count this one so it's technically four, five, six, and seven. Now remember we've got our white laid back right over here but when we do this is when it's really gonna pull it in. So now you're gonna go through all of these just like this. Then you're gonna drop the green and pull your white back through, okay? Then you're gonna go into your next available stitch right here 
and work a half double crochet with the white. Then you're gonna go into your next stitch like you're going to work a half double crochet and then you're gonna pull in the green. So now we're gonna pull our green through to finish that half double crochet. And into that same spot, you're gonna pull up another green loop and then go through the next until you have seven loops on your hook. So now we have two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. And then you're going to go through all of those. Then you're gonna pull up your white into this stitch right here. Then you're gonna go into your next stitch and work a half double crochet. And then into the next, you're gonna start a half double crochet, but then you're gonna bring up your green. So you're just gonna keep doing that all the way around and you're finishing up these strawberries with the green and then I'll meet you back up when we get close okay, to Okay, so we're on our last strawberry. I wanted to meet up with you again and just go over it again and show you how we end this uh, um, up for this round. So again, we're just gonna go through that same stitch right there that we just worked into and we're gonna pull up seven loops, including the one here. So now we've got two, so three, four, five, six, and seven. And of course we're going over our white and then we're gonna go through all of these, drop our green, pull up our white, then go into our next available stitch right over here, do a half double crochet, and into the next stitch, we're going to put a half double crochet. And instead of bringing up our green, we're just gonna finish the half double crochet and then we're going to slip stitch into this first stitch right here, okay? Right before we did our first strawberry, okay? And now we can drop our green and everything and just put a slip stitch right there, okay? So that's what it looks like so far. Look at all of our cute strawberries. Okay, and so now we're gonna show you how to do the ending round. And all you're going to do is you're going to first, we're gonna cut off this green so it doesn't keep getting in our way here. And now we're going to chain up three. And in the same spot right here where we slip stitched, we're going to do um, five more double crochet. So one, two, three, four, and five, which is technically six because our first chain of three. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, so we need to put one more, okay? Then we're gonna jump right over into this first stitch of the white that you see, and you're going to put six more double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you're gonna skip over into the next one and put six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then again, skip over into this first stitch right here of the white from our previous round and do six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
Okay, and that's what it looks like. And you're just gonna keep doing that all the way around. So I'm gonna meet you back up when we get to the end, show you how to close it, and we'll see what our little um, doily, strawberry doily turns out to look like. I'll see you back in just a minute. So now we're on our last one. So we're just going to skip over just like we've been doing. And we're gonna do our last six double crochets right here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then right after you get done with that, you're just going to slip stitch into the third chain up of your first chain of three, okay? And so this is what it looks like when it's all completed. And then you can just cut off, tie in, and then you're gonna work all your ends in. If you have any that are um, not poking out enough, you can just take your finger like this, push it up like that, and then it'll poke out a little bit more. Yours might look a little bit different, might be a little tighter depending on the hook and the yarn. So just keep all of those things in mind. But isn't it so pretty guys? So fun, easy to make, and it's great for coasters, for coffee cups, for tea. So I just think they're just so cute and wonderful for summer. But I do wanna show you the back real quick before we finish up. Just wanted to show you now normally like i told you i would have worked a lot of these in but for the sake of the video it just makes it hard because you're just holding on to so much while you're trying to show something but i would have worked probably most of these in and then i would have just had this left to work in in the middle but you do want to work that in in the middle about three times and then cut off and you'll be all done but that's what it looks like from the back okay so i hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial if you have any questions or comments of course there's the comments section below on youtube but you can find me a lot of places in the description box below you can find me on instagram on tiktok on facebook and i have a gmail um, and i really try to reply to any questions or um, if you're having any kind of problems with anything, I really try to reply as quickly as I possibly can. So feel free to do that. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.